On the songs page, we also have song reports available with this reporting button up here where you can see how often your files were used, how often the songs were used, if you're using the rehearsal license from CCLI. Um, this can give you a report for that and some other things that are here as well. The last thing that I'm going to talk about here is a different kind of tag. We just talked about song and arrangement tags to help organize your songs. Your songs have files in them. And what if you have a lot of files? Well, the best way to organize those files is by using file tags. You can say this file is of this type and this file is of this type by adding tags. So when we go back to our songs um, page up here on the gear, this is another quick way to get to our tags editing screen. We'll go to edit tags here. Not song tags, not arrangement, media people, but file tags. Here are the different tags we want to apply to different files. So I've got capo charts, regular chord charts, lyrics. Maybe we have separate rhythm charts that we want to organize separately. At this church, we've got an orchestra. And so for every piece of music, there's a flute, uh, flute music, oboe, bassoon, violin. There's going to be 20 to 30 files for every single song. So first of all, organizing them by tagging them with files is great. But what's even better is you can then use these tags so that each of those people only see the files that are meant for them. We hide files that are not for you. So for instance, we've got this flute file tag. When I upload a file that is a flute file, we say we apply the flute tag to it. Then what we'll do is we'll go to our orchestra. So I'm going to click this little search icon at the top. This is the fastest way to get almost anywhere. I'm going to type the name of a team. Orchestra, here it is. Let's go straight to my orchestra team. And now let's look down here at flute. And the flute has been linked for file visibility. What files can flute see? They can see any file that doesn't have a tag at all or any files that have a flute tag applied to it. That means when a flute player logs in, they're not going to see the clarinet, the bassoon, the French horn, the oboe. It's a lot of files and it makes it hard for them to see what's for them. So this is a way to change the file visibility for each person based on the tags. There's a couple of other steps that you have to do. You have to enable this um, feature for your service type. So in the contemporary service where this orchestra exists, I can click this little um, link right up here at the top to get to that. And I can go to my settings for the contemporary service. And now here is where I can say limited file visibility enabled. What this means is it's going to be hiding files for people in the contemporary service based off of those file tags that we just used. So oboe players, not going to see the flute files. You might have a separate file for the alto, the tenor, the soprano, vocal parts. You might not have an orchestra, but you might have vocal parts. Or you might have a lot of different chord charts and you want to just show the people the ones that are for them. You can use file visibility to do that.